Assalamu alaikum. My name is Adil Ahmed. I'm a 16-year-old student doing my GCSEs. Um, and my question regards uh, Dr. Naik's statement previously about saying Merry Christmas to a non-Muslim uh, makes us somehow submit the fact that, well, the idea that uh, Christ was the Son of God and it makes us one of them. Now, that sort of shocked me in a sense that um, surely Allah uh, in his uh, almightiness would know that my intention to saying to someone Merry Christmas is as you said just to improve relations now the thing is that most people uh, at least of my generation the people who I come in contact with don't actually celebrate Christmas uh, because they uh, celebrate Christ's birth but actually it's a commercial thing to get the latest PS2 or whatever it is um, so could you just please expand on that because I'm sort of confused how saying Merry Christmas could uh, somehow um, bring blasphemy. The brother asked a question that he wants to wish Merry Christmas to his friend so that he can build relationships. So tomorrow he'll ask me the question, why can't I have a peg of alcohol to build relationship? Why not? Why? What's wrong? Why can't I eat some pork with them? Why can't I go to church and worship Jesus Christ, peace be upon him? See, you don't have to do anything haram for doing dawah. For reaching the goals, you cannot use wrong means, brother. What is haram for them is haram for you also. When you are wishing Merry Christmas to them, you are agreeing that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was born on the 25th of December, and you are agreeing that he is the begotten son of God, which is shirk. Why it is wrong? Because the Christians, they believe that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is the begotten son of God. Now, irrespective of whether he may be a practicing Christian or not, they celebrate because of the birthday. Why don't they celebrate any other day? So if you tell your Christian friend, okay, forget, if you don't believe in that, let's celebrate instead of 25th of December, let's celebrate on the 10th of October. Will they agree? They'll say no. But that does not mean don't do dawah. I do dawah on Christmas. I ask them that this is the Christmas season. Why is it Christmas? So they tell me, oh, it's Christmas because Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was born on 25th of December. Who is this Jesus, peace be upon him? Oh, Jesus is the begotten son of God. Then I tell him, that can you prove to me from one unequivocal statement from the complete Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon himself, says that he's God of Israel, worship me. I do dawah. Why do you have to use wrong means for doing dawah? You ask the question, is saying Merry Christmas wrong means? I'm telling you it is wrong. Okay. 100% wrong according to me. If you don't know what Christmas is celebrated for, like by mistake, if you don't know it is alcohol and you think it is Pepsi and you have it, Allah may forgive you. So if you don't know what is Christmas standing for being in UK, do you know what Christmas stands for? Well, as of now... Why I think, do you come from somewhere outside? Well, uh, as of now, I think it stands for a do commercial... You know what, do I you think know? it stands for a commercial business. That's what it Sorry? stands for. It stands for a commercial business, a, a place where people give each other presents. No, no, commercial. That's what is the excuse? No, don't... It's don't a holiday. Push. I'm asking the question, do you know what is the excuse for commercial business? What is the excuse? Why yeah. do they celebrate Christmas? For what? Because it's uh, the birth of Christ. Time finished. You know about it? And do they consider Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, as the Son of God, begotten Son? Do you know that? Yeah, I know that. If but you I... know that, and then if you wish Merry Christmas, it is haram. If you didn't know, if you're coming from Timbuktu, if you're coming from Timbuktu and you did not know, and in ignorance, if you wish, Allah may forgive you. If you don't know that that is alcohol, if you think it is Pepsi and you drink it, Allah may forgive you. But if you know it and you think you're building relationship, you know what you're doing? You're building a place in the Jahannam. So therefore, brother, for reaching any good means, you never have to adopt wrong means. You have to go as the guidance of the Quran and the Sunnah. Hope that answers the question. Muslims, we don't guide the non-Muslims. Leave us at that. We become party to them. For example, now, within a few months, you'll have Christmas coming. Now, many of us Muslims, when we meet the Christians, we say, Merry Christmas! Want to increase the friendship. When you are saying Merry Christmas, what are you doing? You are giving Shahada Nauz Billah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has begotten a son on the 25th of December. Leave aside correcting them. When you say Merry Christmas to your Christian friends, you are giving Shahada. You are bearing witness that knows Billah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala begot a son on the 25th of December. Leave aside correcting them, you are becoming party to them. It is so easy. If it's Christmas time, only thing you have to ask them, that why do you celebrate Christmas? 
So they'll tell you it is the birthday of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. Who is this Jesus Christ, peace be upon him? Oh, Jesus Christ is Almighty God. Immediately, your dawah starts. That there is not a single unequivocal statement in the complete Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that he is God or why he says worship me. If any Christian can show me any verse in the Bible, any unequivocal statement, any unnumbering statement in the complete Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says that he is God or worship me, I am ready to accept Christianity. Simple.